हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी डू सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल इफ यू आर हेयर फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम फ्रॉम चैप्टर 14 हेवलर डायनामिक्स एंड द प्रॉब्लम सेज दैट द कार सी एंड इट्स कंटेंट्स हैव अ वेट ऑफ 600 पाउंड वेयर इज ब्लॉक बी हैज अ वेट ऑफ 200 पाउंड इफ द कार इज रिलीज्ड फ्रॉम रेस्ट डिटरमाइन द स्पीड व्हेन इट ट्रैवल्स 30 फीट डाउन द 20 डिग्री इंक्लाइन and the suggestion is given that to measure the gravitational potential energy establish separate datums at the initial elevations of b and c so first of all since it's a dependent motion of the block and the car so we have to find the relationship between the velocity of both the block and the car respectively so first of all if i define my datum lines so let's say that this is my datum line for the position for measuring the position of this block b and this is my datum line for measuring the position of this car c so let's say that the displacement traveled in this uh, the displacement traveled by this car in this direction is positive and let's say that is represented by variable as c and let's say that the motion of the block in the downward direction is considered as positive and that is measured by the variable as b so now if i write the equation for the length of the car so that is sb plus sb plus sc so we can write that 2sb plus sc this is equal to the length of the car and if if i take the derivative of this whole equation so that will be uh, 2vb with respect to time so that is sb uh, dsb divided by dt so this is the velocity of that block and this is the velocity of the car and that is equal to zero since the length there is no change in the length with respect to time so we can write that vb is equal to minus vc divided by 2 so now what does this mean that if block b is moving downward then the car will move up and if the car is moving downward then the block will move up so this is the relationship between the velocities of both the block and car and similarly now uh, since there is no change in the length so the change in sb uh, uh, in the positive sense will be equal to the change in sc in the negative sense right so the overall change will be equal to zero so we can say that 2 2 times change in sb plus change in sc this will be equal to zero so now if if the car is moving 30 feet downward so we can find the change in sb so let me write that the change in sb is equal to change in sc divided by 2 and if the change in sc is 30 feet so that is 30 divided by 2 so that change in sb equals to 15 feet so if the car travels 30 feet along the incline then this block will uh, will raise a distance of 15 feet in the upward direction right so this is this is negative we have negative sign as well let me put that negative sign so the negative sign tells us that uh, if if the cart is moving downward uh, then the block is moving in the upward direction that is minus 15 in the upward direction so now to find the since in the problem statement is required that find determine its speed determine the speed of the car when it travels 30 feet down so we we need to apply the a uh, law of conservation of energy so i can write that uh, let's say that uh, initially uh, this is when the block is somewhere so let's say um, that initial state of both the car and block is let's say point 1 or state 1 so let's say initially now uh, i define my datum line so if the block is here so this is the datum line for block and the datum line for the car is let's say somewhere here this is and this is the initial state of the car so we can say that the kinetic energy uh, at state 1 plus the uh, potential energy is at state 1 and that is equal to the kinetic energy at state 2 plus the potential energy is at state 2 now since this is a dependent motion so if the car starts from rest then the block starts from rest as well so the kinetic energy at state 1 of both the block and car is zero so 
we can split this this is this will be the summation of the kinetic energy of block and the car so both the kinetic energies are zero so we can add this zero and if this is the datum line for this block and if this is the datum line for this car so again uh, both the block and car are located at datum line and so there is no change in the vertical position or uh, we can say that here uh, y will be equal to zero and here y will be equal to zero and the gravitational potential energy at datum line is always equal to zero so we can write that the gravitational potential energies of both the block and car are zero at state one as well so this is this will be equal to the kinetic energy let me write this as now the kinetic energy of uh, this we can split this into two parts this will be the kinetic energy at state two of the block plus the kinetic energy at state 2 of the car and similarly we can split this as well this will be the uh, gravitational potential energy of the block let me write this is v of block plus v of car so now the kinetic energy of the block will be 1 divided by 2 this is 0 1 divided by 2 mass of the block is weight of the block is 200 so mass of the block is 200 divided by g value which is 32.2 times the velocity of the block so let's say that the velocity of the block is vb square plus the kinetic energy of the car so that is 1 divided by 2 and the weight of the car with its contents is 600 pounds so this is 600 divided by g value which is 32.2 into the velocity of the car which is vc square plus the the gravitational potential energy of the block so uh, when this car travels 30 feet so it reaches here and this block will move 15 feet distance in the upward direction so let's say that the block reaches somewhere here so this is the state 2 this will be the state 2 of the block somewhere here this is state 2 and this is state 2 of the block as well this is state 2 so the gravitational potential energy of the block at state 2 will be w times the change in the vertical position so the weight of the block is 200 so this is 200 and the change in the vertical position this is the change in the vertical position so the change in the vertical position is 15 feet since the, uh, the block has traveled 15 feet distance in the upward direction so that is 15 and in the upward direction the gravitational potential energy of the block will be considered as positive since this is our datum line and in the downward direction that will be considered as negative so this is the positive gravitational potential energy of the block so we can write this as 200 into 15 and similarly the the gravitational potential energy of the car at state 2 so we can write that the gravitational potential energy of the car will be again weight times the change in the y so the weight of the car of the car is 600 and the change in y this is the change in y so now the change in y since the car travels 30 feet along the incline this is 30 feet distance along the incline so the change in uh, y will be the sine component of that this is 30 feet and this is 20 degree angle so this change in y is 30 sine of 20 degrees right so now we can write that and as we know that this is the datum line and the car is moving in the downward direction so in the downward direction uh, from the reference datum that is considered as negative right so the gravitational potential energy of the car is negative so we can write that that is minus this this will be minus 600 times 30 sine of 20 degrees so this is minus 630 sine of 20 degrees so now we have the equation like this so this is zero we can uh, now uh, since we are required to find uh, determine the velocity of the car so we we want to find vc the velocity of the car so we need to replace this vb in terms of vc since we are uh, interested to find vc so vb is equal to minus vc divided by 2 so now in place of vb i will write vc divided by 2 so this is uh, minus vc divided by 2 squared 
So when, when I take square, so this minus sign will become positive and this will become Vc square divided by 4. So this is Vc square divided by 4. So now we can write this as this is 200 divided by 2. So this is 100 divided by 4 into 32.2 Vc square and this is 600 divided by 2. So this is 300. So this is plus 300 divided by 32.2 Vc square plus and this these two terms. Let me add these two terms. So this is 200 into 15 minus 600 into 30 sine of 20. So this gives us minus 3156.363 minus 3156.363. So this is equal to 0 or we can say that this whole equation is equal to 0 like this. Now we can add up both of these if we if we write we see if we take we see common. So this is uh, 100, 100 divided by 4 into 32.2 plus 300 divided by 32.2. So this gives me 10.09. This is 10.09. 09 vc square minus 3156.363 this is equal to 0 and if I bring this to the other side of the equation so it will become positive and if I divide both sides by 10.09 so that will give us vc so vc square right so that vc square is 3156.363 divided by 10.09 and if we take the square root of this answer, so that will give us Vc. So the square root of the answer is 17.68. Or we can say that Vc is equal to 17.69 feet per second. So this is the solution of uh, this particular problem from chapter 14, Hibbler Dynamics. Uh, do subscribe my channel if you haven't subscribed my channel yet and like this video for the solution of such more problems from Hibbler Dynamics.